I'm in Plymouth Barbican and it's the 6th of October 2019 and I'm with Brian or Sir Francis Drake. Hello Brian, how are you or Sir Francis? How am I? Doing reasonably well. You're here all the Hunting time. Hunting around now. for bits of material and all sorts of things. So how long have you been doing this now? We've spoken Four, loads of times uh, Just before. over 40 years. 40 years. And always in Plymouth? Uh, yes, really. And of course, Shortash where I live. Yeah. Now, I'm in costume over there quite a bit have, as well. Have you done other... How many, cast, how many costumes have you got? Oh, I don't know. Three, six... About eight, I think. And then you got a Santa Claus one as well? Yeah. Oh, yes, I got that. That's yeah. what this is growing. Yeah. It's last Christmas. Have you got a Halloween one? No. <laughs> don't worry about Halloween. You're not into that. But anyway, Father Christmas is, yeah, well, I will be. But on Boxing Day, I'll cut it back to my rough shape I like. Yeah. But um, for Christmas, I'll have sacrificed it. And I've got about, what, four, four, five Christmas appointments for uh, Father Christmas. So. so next year is 2020, and 400 years of the Pilgrim Fathers going to Plymouth, Massachusetts. Sorry? Ne next year is 2020, and 400 years of... Yeah, but I don't think Plymouth will use me. Yeah, uh, why, why is that? I don't know, they never do. The council don't... I mean, actually, I come down here... Quite a lot. Yeah. Of people, tourists, and that. It cost me money. Yeah. Because all my costumes and that. Uh, I come in by bus. Uh, don't, and you have no help from the council no, whatsoever. And, no. you, and you're great for promotion for the city they and you have been for don't years. No, I agree totally because I've done an awful lot for the city as well. And they're very arrogant and ignorant and they just throw regulations they at you are. over everything. They are. You I know. think it all, it all goes back actually to um, oh, a couple, two or three oh, years ago now. When they were going to build a, uh, a hotel where swim pool was. Yes. Now I was one of the committee that fought it. Right, okay. I said, no, that's for Plymouth, for three children. Yeah. And tourists and everything else. Where was that? Oh, quite way back. Yeah, um, no, where was, the, a, where, was, uh, where was the hotel going to be? They were going to put a, a hotel there. Where? Where the swim pool was. Oh, right, they wanted Tinside. They to take the swim pool away and put uh, Oh, cracky, that's there. quite a while ago now, yeah. And we fought it and they turned around to me and they said, and we're never going to give you any more business for that. Yeah. Because we beat them. It is like a mafia system, the way the city's run from wide. And I said to them, well, don't worry too much about that, because you don't give me much business anyway. Yeah. Well, they haven't helped me in any way at all, and they yeah. seem to be very, be very clicky where they put the funding for and the arts. And it makes me laugh. I mean, I've been a pirate now for that. They pay for years. pirates to come into the blinking town. Yeah. But never, never give me anything. Well, you th they know where you live, so you think they'd uh, oh, tell they you about Pirate Weekend and, everything. and uh, and have you a high profile at Pirate Weekend, wouldn't you? Yeah, or even hire you for you Pirate Weekend. No, they self interest all the time, I and mean, to me, it's frustrating. But it's a shame. I mean, I enjoy doing it, I do it to keep history alive, yeah, which is important to me. Well, it's nice to see characters but walking a around, bit of anyway. help now and again because things uh, cost me a lot. I mean, a brand new costume is what to a couple of hundred. Yeah, well I've spent thousands of pounds on promoting the city as so, well and you get no thanks for it. So all these things and cost the hour, money. And the time as well. And Well, time, but, um, but it, it but costs least, money. I mean, by the keeping of the costumes going and all that, I mean, this is an expensive costume. Yeah. You're talking about well over 500 quid for this. Yeah. 508, I think, was this costume. But you're pleasing people and, and then they're taking pictures of you home. Uh, so it's promoting Plymouth big time. It is, I promote Plymouth all the time. Yeah. I mean, today a lot of tourists are from, you know, from the tourists are concerned, and they love it. Yeah. They stop me in all sorts of places for photographs, even in a bus the other day, people want to photograph. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't mind. It's, um, it's no skin off my no, nose. No. Well, it's nice to be out and about anyway, isn't it? It would be nice to get a bit of help towards the cops. Or even, some, or even a thank you occasionally. Well, a thank you, yeah, that would be <laughs> nice anyway. Yeah. But, I mean, it would be nice to get a little bit of help towards the costumes because they're, they're not expensive, they're not cheap. Yeah. I mean, this costume I've just had made, it's beautiful. It's double-breasted children. Yeah. But uh, that's cost me, what, a couple of hundred. Yeah. Now I've got to get all the gold braiding for it, which yeah. is going to cost me quite a bit. And it, all these things cost money. Yeah. Well, have a good Christmas. We're in October now, so we're soon into Christmas. We're in October now, so we seem to be into Christmas. I've got a streaming head yeah, We've got this freshest book I that always this, comes in this, September. I was told this Sunday or Saturday in the Guild Hall is a group of youngsters that wear a period costume, futuristic costumes. Yes. And, and I saw them Fant back a little while and they come over and said, Would you come down when we're doing it? I come well, yeah. It's the comic fair. I said, I'm probably. quite happy. They yeah. said, Oh, you're, you're our, what they call it. Everybody looks up to you and says, what are you doing for a period of costumes? And yeah. And costume. So I don't mind going to encourage youngsters. I'm quite happy. Yeah. 
Right, so, so I think there's one in Saturday, I was told. Yeah. 13th, is that Right. Uh, nice so to I'll see. be going down just to see. Okay, nice to see you, Brian, anyway. <laughs> Thank well, you. It's a nice sunny day, anyway. Have a good day. Bye, bye, bye.